Today, we're going to be doing some low light photography. So we just let the scene, we have a light directly in front of the subject, which is me. <laughs> and then another Pavo tube right on the side to help illuminate me a bit more. Our first attempt, Jaden was a little too dark because we didn't have nan lights at all. And the lightsaber was lighting him a little too much. And we wanted to highlight the edges a little more. And then the second shot, we had the lights on the edge, which kind of highlighted his edges a little bit, but it was still a little too dark. So then the third shot, we put the light in front of him with the mist, with all the fog. That's pretty good. Here, come, come check this out. That's sick. And it looks like a real lightsaber. So we have some, a smoke machine. This is the Telesyn smoke machine. A little bit about the photo we just took. Our shutter speed was one over 60 because it was really dark. And one over 60 is pretty low, but we just made sure that Jaden wasn't moving too much. Normally, if your subject is moving, we wouldn't want to do that low of a shutter speed, but because you made sure he was staying still, then we were okay with that. Yep. One thing about low light photography is don't be afraid to jack up your ISO. Cause I know people who think just because they're at 100 ISO, you can just like bump up three stops in Lightroom and it'll be clean, but that's not how that works. No. So you gotta make sure you expose at least relatively properly. You can always clean it up in post, but the closer you get to your final image, the easier it'll be. Don't just rely on Lightroom to do it. I think the general rule of thumb is do everything before post. Yeah, as much as you can. That's why we also have lights, because lights will definitely help you. Yeah, you don't want to be lighting it after. And yeah. then... This is the Telesyn smoke machine. I hope there's batteries in it. And then this is the... Canister. Tank. That holds all the... This is what holds the liquid. And it can do different effects. So you can do, there's like a cold ice. Yeah, so you just screw it version. in. There's like a smoke version. We You have to let the liquid sit a bit. So... so we'll do other things while this sits. A little bit more fill all the way because it's going to soak up the cotton inside. So we have the Blazar Remus, the new Blazar Remus that I got. We're shooting on the 50 mil on T2. We're going to be doing T2 just because it's really dark and we'll get the most light out of that. Hold your hand out really good. Just uh, get focus. Good. It's in front of you. Huh? It's getting like, it's almost like a little too misty like at your back I'll chill out you're just like full silhouette now yeah I can't see shit hold on I'm gonna come closer oh my superhero pose it's too bright it's too bright second tip for low light photography Try not to make sure your background is too dark because if your background is too dark, it just kind of looks like they're in a black hole behind them, which is why right now, if you can see, we have the nan lights in front of Jaden and that lights him up like a silhouette and you can actually see the background with the smoke. But if that light was off, he would literally just be darkness and that smoke's actually crazy right now. Yeah, it looks crazy. Yeah, but do that to this. <laughs> so we're gonna try to put Jaden in the middle, right in the middle. We're gonna have one nan light in front of him, so where it is right now. Mm -hmm. The other one's gonna be lighting you from the back. So it'll be directly in front of you and directly behind you. Mm -hmm. We'll try putting the smoke machine right under him so it kind of mists up into him. Hopefully the smoke doesn't just go everywhere. Yeah. And then I'm going to fly the FPV, try to get some orbit shots around him. You can like swing around. We're going to be trying some low light video with the DJI Action 5. Act. Is that? 
If you're feeling lucky, come and dance with the devil. We in the danger zone. The, the, the danger zone. We in the danger zone. The, the, the danger zone. We in the danger zone. The, the, the danger zone. We in the danger zone. The, the, the danger zone. We in the. Welcome to the bar, watch on. Let's rumble. When the blood hits the paint, that means trouble. You don't really wanna mess with the best. Take one step, go down like the rest. Another low light photography tip. Don't be afraid to crank that eye. So you already said that, didn't you? Yeah. Just um, get a better camera, you know? <laughs> obviously primes are probably the best Yeah, Yes, sure primes. So our anamorphic was T2, basically almost like F2. Mm -hmm. Our photography lens here was 1.4. Yeah. And I, like the only reason why we have a light on us right now here is because it's too dark for this lens that we have on the vlog. Yes. This is still 1.4. Still 1.4. It but still looks best for these kind of shots when you have an actual light. That's true. So there's a couple other tips that you can try just to make sure that your images come out as clean as possible. So you obviously want to be shooting in RAW because that gives you the most data for you to play with the image. And that'll let you do things if you use Lightroom, like use the AI feature to do noise reduction, which is definitely going to be handy in these night situations. You can also try putting the camera on a tripod, which is what we were doing. And when you're shooting at a low shutter speed, the tripod will just help get rid of the natural shake that your hands will have. And you can also try shooting on burst mode just so that you have more chances of making sure that you get a sharp image. But by far the biggest tip is just to use external lights to build your image, especially when it's dark. Don't just rely on any natural lights because there are some street lamps on the side right here, but they don't produce very nice colors and they're going to create some weird shadows on your face. But with this light over here, with all the nan lights in the back, we're able to control the light and get exactly what we want. And you just got to make sure that you go out and practice this more. Don't just expect that the first time you go out, you're going to be creating some amazing images. Try to go as much as you can, bring different lights, and just try to build different scenes. If you want to do nighttime photography, um, make sure you don't have any um, ambient or leaking light from other places. Mm -hmm. Right now, you kind of can see some in the background here, but they're so far off and the fog is covering them so well that it just kind of adds to the photo instead. Earlier, we were shooting closer to a main light source and it kind of killed off that fog and mist. So as we moved further into the field and it got darker, it played advantage to the lighting that we did want to use. Okay, we're done. There you go. Bro, and also don't forget, if you like this video, hit that like button and probably subscribe so you can see more of him mainly, but a little bit of me sometimes here and there with lightsaber, with other sabers. Yeah. Oh wait, this way. <laughs>